Since as early as 2011, a highly debated theory has had all Rockstar fans debating one thing. Is every Rockstar game's title a part of the same universe? The idea of this multiverse has been debated on both sides for almost 13 years and still have not come up with a definitive answer. But today, I look to change that. From going over what is considered canon to which games fall into which universe, I aim to answer every single question someone may have about this theory in detail. So, after weeks of research and thousands of forums and articles read, this is the entire Rockstar Multiverse Explained. To start, it's important to clarify that the idea of the multiverse isn't what is debated, but rather whether all of Rockstar's titles are linked together in these different universes. And yes, I do mean multiple universes. The multiverse theory for GTA games specifically has been confirmed by Rockstar themselves stating this. The universes are the worlds interpreted at different definitions, 2D, 3D, and high definition. So we felt brands and radio slash background characters would exist in both, but three-dimensional characters would not. So no, we don't believe any GTA 3 characters could exist in the GTA 4 universe. So for clarification, the GTA franchise is split up into three main universes. The 2D universe spanned from the original GTA to GTA 2, the 3D universe ran from GTA 3 to GTA Vice City Stories, and the current HD universe started with GTA 4 and will run into GTA 6. More on that in a bit. These three universes are all separated from each other respectively. One thing to mention though is only characters are restricted to their universe and not locations like how we have Vice City in GTA Vice City and now again in GTA 6. So that should make it easy enough to understand. Three universes separated by their graphics where characters can't cross over. However, this only takes into account the GTA franchise and makes no mention of any other series which include Red Dead, Manhunt, Bully, LA Noir, Max Payne, and Midnight Club. And figuring out where each of these games lie is where the real theory of this multiverse comes into question. While it is agreed that most of Rockstar's titles are a part of the GTA universe, it's not mutually agreed upon which universe they belong to. For instance, Manhunt is known to belong to the GTA universe, since Carcer City, the city the game takes place in, is mentioned in both GTA 4 and 5. Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Which would imply it's in the HD universe. But since it only released in standard definition on the PS2, it has to be set in the 3D universe. It's contradictions like these that drives the entire history of the Rockstar multiverse and something we will finally answer later in the video. Because out of all of the Rockstar titles we have to cover, there is one series that is arguably more debated than the entire theory itself and figuring out exactly where this series lies could solve the entire theory for us. By far, the series that is theorized the most for which universe it belongs to is the Red Dead series. The main conclusion I saw from the community is that Red Dead and the GTA universe are not connected and are two different universes. The main argument to support this is that Red Dead makes many references to real life locations such as New York instead of Liberty City, which we know to be the fictional version of New York in the GTA universe. We just can't seem to get west, can we? No, at this rate, we'll be in New York by Christmas. Therefore, meaning Red Dead can't be in the same universe as the GTA franchise. However, this is a flawed explanation for a couple reasons. The most important reason is that in the GTA franchise, there are also many instances of real life locations being mentioned, even some that have fictional adaptations within the GTA universe. For instance, in GTA 4, a radio ad on Liberty Rock Radio makes reference to someone having a California accent. I'm only a humble blacksmith with a California accent. This shouldn't be possible, however, since we know that San Andreas is meant to be California in the GTA universe. 
Another reference can be found in GTA Vice City stories with a billboard that mentions Miami, but again, Vice City is supposed to be Miami, so this makes no sense. There are also countless references to real world cities within GTA 5, even if they are just minor details. So this can only mean one thing, that the world of GTA games coexists with their real life counterparts. Meaning that although Red Dead makes references to cities like New York, that doesn't mean that Liberty City doesn't exist in their world as well. However, some people are quick to say that the references to real world locations are simply a mistake or oversight on Rockstar's end and not meant to be taken seriously, but I strongly disagree. Unless Rockstar states otherwise, you have to take everything in the game at face value. If there is a sign that says Miami, then Miami exists. And since Rockstar has never explicitly said that real life places don't exist in this world, you have to believe that they do. Dumb Florida moron. At the end of the day, there are so many references to real life locations in the GTA franchise that to call them all a mistake is simply unjustified. And people will say that it doesn't make sense for there to be two almost identical cities in the same world, and I do agree with you. But right now, all I'm saying is that there's more evidence to support there being two cities than the opposite. Either way, although this Rockstar universe may resemble the real world, not everything is going to be the same. Much like how the MCU is based off of our world, but then has things like Wakanda, for example. That might not be the best analogy, but I hope you get the point. So yes, Red Dead is a part of the GTA universe, even if there is a hundred year difference in the timeline. That may have already started a debate in the comments, but after you take a look at all the different connections and storylines that bring the world of specifically GTA 5 and Red Dead together, this theory doesn't sound as far-fetched as you might think. Since the earliest days of GTA 5's release, there have been a ton of different references to Red Dead found that without a doubt connect their stories together, only separated by their obvious year differences. There's the Red Dead book written by Jack Marston, the revolver treasure hunt with a clue found at the Tree of Skulls, the Infinity Killer, and our GTA Online characters being a descendant of John Marston. So much like the real life locations, there are just too many references to ignore. Some people have said, however, that Easter eggs are just that, Easter eggs. But that to me is not enough of a reason to discredit these findings. In my eyes, there is a difference between an Easter egg and a reference. An Easter egg is how street names in Sandy Shores are named after settlements in Red Dead as no other details other than the name connect them a reference, on the other hand, is the Red Dead book, as it's written by Jack Marston, a character known to love novels and talks about writing one someday to his father, which presumably becomes this book in GTA 5. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the Old West on the side. All signs point towards these two games being connected and I honestly get surprised when I see people argue otherwise. Assuming by the fact as well that a reference to RDR2 has already been made in GTA 6, further continuing the HD universe. When Lucia and Jason storm into the convenience store in the first trailer, a picture of Everett Morgan, a bounty target in RDR2, can be seen on the door when they walk in. We haven't even gotten the game yet and Rockstar is already making connections for GTA 6 with RDR 2, just like GTA 5 is connected to RDR 1. And while Red Dead might have been an easy game to fit into the GTA universe, a few of the other series in Rockstar's umbrella make this theory a little harder to follow. So to quickly recap, there are three GTA universes. And in these universes, there are fictional cities as well as their real life counterparts. And Red Dead takes place in the HD universe a hundred years before the events of GTA 5. So now that we know that real world locations exist in the same world as GTA, we can use this to help figure out where the other Rockstar titles lie within these universes. However, part of me thinks they may not be at all. The games left to decipher are Manhunt, Bully, Max Payne, LA Noir, and Midnight Club. 
As stated earlier, Manhunt is easy since it takes place in Carcer City. Bully is also a given since Bullworth Academy can be seen in commercials in GTA 4. The Max Payne series LA Noir and Midnight Club are more difficult, and that's for the fact that these games were not developed by Rockstar. The first two Max Payne games were developed by Remedy Studios, with only the third game being made by Rockstar, and LA Noir was developed by Team Bondi. It's for this reason I hesitate to add them to the theory since they weren't even developed by Rockstar. However, for the sake of the video, I will try my best to add them into this universe. It is possible Max Payne 3 could be added to the HD universe since it was developed by Rockstar, but since it takes place in South America and has no other references to past games, it doesn't add much to the theory anyway. Midnight Club is another series that makes this confusing. All of the Midnight Club games were developed by Angel Studios, which eventually became Rockstar San Diego in 2002, a few years after the release of Midnight Club Street Racer. Throughout the Midnight Club series, the game takes place in some already mentioned locations like New York and LA for example, so fitting these games into the overarching universe isn't hard, but pinpointing which universe they belong to is a different story. Now with all that said, you could use the same logic to add LA Noir to the theory, since it does take place in Los Angeles, and it has some connections within GTA 5, but again, I hesitate to do so because it wasn't solely developed by a division of Rockstar, and therefore shouldn't be added to the theory. So we have finally covered every game from Rockstar that is believed to be a part of this universe. One of the many questions people want to know, however, is which universe these different games belong to. But unfortunately, this topic is a lot harder to confirm. The reason for this is that there is no real indication of what separates these universes other than their graphics. So by definition, this is what we have to base it off of. For starters, no other games in this theory fall in the 2D universe for obvious reasons, so that immediately rules out one option. So that leaves the 3D universe to then include Manhunt 1 and 2, Midnight Club 1 through 3, Bully, and for the sake of the video, Max Payne 1 and 2, even though they shouldn't be here. The reason these games are featured in the 3D universe is for one simple fact. They didn't initially release in HD. And again, I know people will say Manhunt takes place in the HD universe since Carcer City is referenced in GTA 5, but remember that locations can be mentioned across universes, just not characters. Which then leaves the HD universe to include Midnight Club Los Angeles, the Red Dead series, Max Payne 3, and for continuity purposes, LA Noir. And so finally, with every game covered and explained, this is the entire Rockstar multiverse. I understand some of the stuff in this video may have been hard to follow along with, so if there's anything you are unsure about, leave a comment below and I will try to answer every question that I can. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. This video took a ton of research and editing and would truly mean a lot if you could. Either way though, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.